No, I don't think so. It's always been my understanding that Daniel Levy and Tottenham will try to negotiate a new contract for Kane, even if it goes into next season, uh, in the hope that the new manager, head coach, in this case, Ange Postacoglu, they didn't know, of course, at the time, because this has been the plan for a long time, that it was going to be Postacoglu, um, that uh, he may bring an upturn in fortunes, that things might be looking better, the trajectory um, may be positive, they might be challenging for trophies, and Kane, who uh, is a Tottenham fan, along with his family, and would like nothing more than to win trophies at Tottenham, might be enticed to sign a new contract but there's a lot of ifs in there um but it does uh, stand to reason in, from what i understand that tottenham will continue to uh, try and get him to sign a new deal and uh, they don't have any intention of selling him i guess it just depends how far other clubs test their patience on that now Bayern munich have already come in with an offer of 70 million euros plus add-ons uh, we seem to think they'll go again whether they actually have done just yet or not Let's wait and see whether other clubs come in. And as Sam says, whether Kane would agree to it ultimately when he finally is in such a strong position with all of the options open to him. Um, so it's a it's a really it's a delicate situation, although I don't think it's as acrimonious as it was in 2021. I think things are quite cordial and calm at the moment. Let's see if he comes back to, to pre-season training and, and I'm sure he will be a professional as always, score his goals if he stays. And if a deal happens, um, then that would be a huge situation for Daniel Levy to consider. But it would still take a, a massive amount of money, even with 12 months left on his deal at uh, 29 years old. What David Olinstein is talking about here, it's actually the truth. Harry Kane would love nothing but to remain at Tottenham, win trophies with this club, because of course he loves this club. He has been supporting this club. And also he has some records he wants to break in the Premier League and he would love no way to do it than a tournament space. He has already set a club record there the club. So of course Anshi is now come. Can Anshi become the man who rebuilt Tottenham into challenging for some serious trophies? Can Harry Kane be willing to say that I'll put my life onto this club and believe that we can get something? Wow this when you really think about it this could be his last contract before he actually had him to retire because he's now 29 heading to 30 those are the last years of a player you need to make your decisions wisely of course Bayern Munich is coming they've offered a contract they want to offer another contract they are preparing another contract to leave him but do you think if you're Harry Kane you would come and just be hopeful for a project. You did the same thing under Antonio Conte. You did the same thing under Jose Mourinho. You did the same thing under Nuno Espirito Santos. I and even under Maurizio Pochettino. Are you by any chance gonna keep hoping and hoping that at least the manager comes in and actually wins something? Is that what you're gonna do as every king? Are you gonna put your whole entire future into this cause? After this, you might break the all-time goal scorers in the Premier League of Alan Shearer, but you're finishing this the whole in your entire career without even winning any silverware. Of course, Bayern Monica is still in the picture because at the moment that only team we can talk about. They're willing to give him, give Tona Mosfes the money. Uh, of course, we have already that Thomas Tuchel has actually gone to uh, Harry Kane's house, sat down with him and told him that he has a project for him. He has something that he believes that if he could be part of, it could be successful. And he is the key ingredient that is missing for that Bayern Munich to actually go and challenge the Champions League as it looks like the Bundesliga, they're always winning it every single season. What do you do if you're Harry Kane in this key situation? Of course, he's not going to be so vocal like he was when he wanted to go to Man City, which never materialized because it looks like when you want to go vocal with, with Daniel Levy, he always makes sure that you regret it. And that's what happened. And he lost his move to go to Manchester City. What do you think he's going to do now when it comes to buying now? That's the question that people have to be asking. Even what Poster Cogley is going to be offering, whatever he's going to be doing, do you think it will offer anything meaningful that Kane can actually be hopeful and hold on to? Or he's going to move? And as well, when you think about it, we are in Daniel Levy's Kane situation. You have the best player you have ever had in your club. 
can you be willing to sell him maybe trying to reinvest into the club and create something and give more options to the manager to build on a stronger Tottenham or you're going to hold on to Eric Kane until he leaves out of your club a free agent he leaves you haven't made many money and nothing's going to happen you're going to be holding a contract in your hands which he will never sign what will you do at the end of the day those are the questions that these guys are dealing with those are the questions that Daniel Levy constantly has to keep asking himself when it comes to the hurricane situation how would it end up who's gonna win this what's gonna happen what does the player want can i convince him to change his mind to say think otherwise remember he is a fan of Tottenham Hotspur. can i use that against him to keep him there are so many questions Bayern Monique are offering a good contract they're offering him everything he needs trophies chance to actually go and actually with a mission to actually win the Champions League and maybe possibly win it can they those are the questions and what is in Harry Kane's mind does he wants to remain or he wants to move can the Bayern Munich actually convince Tottenham to sell and how much is that price gonna be so many questions need answers help us David Austin bring more answers to us we want to know What's going to happen at the end of the day? But there are so many battered eaves like what David Ornstein has just said. But time is moving on. What's going to happen? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, people. I'm out. I'll be back again with another one. Click the like button. Subscribe to the content. Go check out. I've just dropped the new episode of the Roundup Show podcast. It's amazing. You just go find out what we were talking about it. We move on. We even talked about the hurricane into the podcast as well. So go check it out. I'm out. Peace. Click the like button, subscribe to connect. Peace.